This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of South by Southwest 2014, a chat with the music tech startups from the French Tech Club about their experience at South by Southwest and much more. DMT's coverage of South by Southwest is brought to you by Omniphone, the leading B2B cloud music provider powering global music services including Sony Music Unlimited, Guvera, Rara and Sirius XM. Find out more on Omniphone.com and by Music Graph, the world's first knowledge engine for music, available as a consumer app and as a graph API for developers. Check out musicgraph.com or developer.musicgraph.com. Hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Music Trends uh, French Music Tech Special uh, panel uh, episode and today we're going to have a, a bit of a chat, uh, it's the last day of uh, South by Southwest Interactive so it's a really great time to talk about your experience here and uh, sort of what's been happening for you uh, here at the event. So uh, first of all if I can ask you to introduce yourselves and sort of in 20 seconds quickly what your company does as well. Hi, uh, I'm Arthur from Evergig. Uh, basically, what we do is we generate concerts from from people from video uh, which was shot by people, you know, with their camera and smartphone. We aggregate them, we uh, edit the full uh, video, and uh, we enhance the sound and the quality of every uh, point of view. Hello, Andrea. I'll need uh, 40 seconds to present you. Wiseband and Sandbox at Henri Pierre Mousset. Wiseband helps artists and labels to sell music on the internet as digital but also physical goods, vinyl, C vinyl CDs, merchandising, and tools to uh, boost the audience. Sandbox is the uh, next jukebox, um, helping uh, bars to um, uh, create animations uh, around music with uh, giving the power to the audience. Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm one of the founders and the CMO of Bubbler. Bubbler is like Instagram but for voice. So basically it's an app that allows any user to record a bubble, which is a voice message that lasts up to two minutes. You have your followers, you follow the people you're interested in, and you just start talking and record bubbles. Hi, I'm GY co-founder. So um, uh, today there is music is fragmented in a lot of platforms like YouTube, SoundCloud, Vimeo and so on and at White we're unifying music allowing to uh, listen to music from all those streaming music sources in one place so that you can make a playlist with the first song from YouTube, the second from SoundCloud, the third from Vimeo and then play a push button uh, and listen to that just like an album from iTunes. Hi, I'm Sebastian from Cobbles.com. Um, Cobbles.com is a music service based around the concept of quality and it's actually the only service, music service uh, in the world to offer 20 million tracks in downloading and streaming in a lot less quality, which is the exact equivalent of CD quality and even better quality, which is 24 bits. And hi, my name is Bastian Sanak. I am the CEO of Meludia, M-E-L-U-D-I-A. And we enable everybody to learn music through sensations and feelings. We have built an online game, which makes you hear and recognize music notions before all the analytical stuff, which is just everybody on earth. Essentially, I wanted to ask you, first of all, uh, what's going to happen, uh, you know, what's, uh, what has been your first uh, uh, take out from uh, South by Southwest uh, has it been positive for your companies uh, and what kind of business are you getting out of it right now? Well actually we just met people, uh, French rather startup but also investors and uh, a record level company. Um, well for us we had pretty good some appointments, some were already uh, signed so yesterday we signed a contract which is pretty great. Um, that's, I think it's a good uh, by Southwest for everybody. Yes, very good experience in uh, Source by Source West. Um, for Wiseman, I, I'm sure the next coming uh, days will be uh, awesome <laughs> because of the music that is preparing. But uh, it's already cool to meet uh, a lot of people from uh, France and, and uh, in, from here, of course. Uh, this is our first South by Southwest, so we've been able to actually test the product on the American people because we are opening an office in New York in three months. So we actually made our first hardcore users here and we actually made really great uh, contacts to spread Bobbler in the media and in the big uh, branding and fashion industry. Uh, so for White, it was an amazing first experience, uh, you know, seeing so many in energy conver converging to one place. Uh, and uh, the, the best thing we got from South by is that it was a direct line uh, to the biggest streaming services in the world, like Spotify, Audio and Beats Music. So we got, uh, we got a direct, uh, we talked to them, we had a follow-up meeting with them in SF. And um, uh, for example, Beats Music, they were announcing the, the, the opening of the API in South by 
and we're right in the targets. Yeah. So uh, it was uh, a great way to, to connect with them. So this is the first, the biggest benefit we got from South by. Yeah, so by software has been really yeah important for us uh, as every year actually. Um, the thing, so it gives us great insights of the American market, and uh, so here we made uh, different labels that are like especially like American label, uh, like major labels and also independent labels that are only here, and we get also to meet uh, different partners, uh, especially like hardware partners where we uh, can embed actually our application and embed the music directly into the different systems, and as well we get to meet uh, different startups and especially in the field of music recommendation for example which is a big a big challenge for everyone so yeah a lot of different um, like companies are here uh, for that okay at Melodia we are already have built strong partnerships in Europe and in New York with university and music schools and South by Southwest has been the opportunity for us to contact and to start partnerships with University of Texas but also with uh, the Texas Cultural Trust uh, and other universities who are just here uh, uh, on the conference yeah. so, so was it was it your first South by like a, a raise of hands of who was the first South by uh, this year yeah Three, first South by first uh, yes, time, first yeah. Time. Oh, awesome, cool. So, so did you feel like it was uh, kind of overwhelming, or did you c could you navigate it okay with the help of uh, hopefully the the French organizers as well of, of the of the thing? Uh, what what were your impressions in terms of actually trying to get around and trying to work out what's happening and, and where to go? Uh, well, it's 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 just huge, and uh, well, here you know that you're not the only startup, yeah. so <laughs> that's the sensation you have, like, oh, you're not alone. Yeah. That's this is, is it me? No, for me it's my third one, uh, and run. I'm sure it's not the last one, because it's really my festival. Um, being in the music industry, uh, the biggest music festival in the world is here in the in the days coming, and um, I love it, really. It's been maybe a bit overwhelming at the beginning and I think the best happens when you actually do not plan uh, because last night we actually didn't plan and uh, you know stumble upon the private Tumblr party so that was really fun and made again great connections. Yeah, to us it was so motivating to, to see so many uh, so many energy, so many parties and so many uh, business opportunities um, and the, the, the good thing is that we, uh, we were in touch with a lot of journalists um, before pr after our fundraising and uh, we, we could at least put a face on a name just like you, uh, you covered us, I never saw you and it was uh, good to see you at last uh, and um, uh, it's it's about also building some relationships. Uh, we are uh, and uh, um, so uh, meeting those people, having a drink with them. Uh, I know it's not uh, direct business, but to us it has been very important because we are being a community. And uh, the journalists here, they they have been following us for for more than a year. So uh, uh, we we are we were very very happy uh, to, uh, to of that. Right. Yeah, it's actually my third uh, South by Southwest, and uh, yeah, it's always great, and we are really looking forward to the music part, which is always like a good fun, and we can definitely sense that it's starting now with the good weather and the crowd that is getting more tattooed, and it's definitely a good sign of it. And uh, yeah, and Lady Gaga's keynote, I mean, yeah, you can't beat that, so that should be fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's my first South by Southwest, and it's kind of a weird event, because it's both a music event, Startup event, film event, and all this in a city. So we cannot qualify South by Southwest. It's amazing. There is such an atmosphere here. And we are particularly lucky because we are here on the Ubi France booth. Ubi France booth, sorry. And um, it's such a chance to have all these startups here on this great place uh, from France promoting what we do best. Awesome. Well Going from your experience to talking about South by in general, like, um, have you seen any cool panels? Like, what, what do you think was uh, some of the key uh, subjects that uh, were talked about here at South by Southwest in the panels or in the conversations we were having around Austin? 
that you think like are, are key to to the debate you know of course uh, everybody's been to the uh, Julian Assange and Snowden panel, uh, panels and uh, but there's been so many different things Bitcoin it's been a, a big point uh, so what was the thing for you that, that you know excited you the most about the the topics that were being talked about here uh, well, I have really no idea, to be honest. I spend my time in, in appointments and running all over the place. So, I, like everyone, I heard about Snowden. So that's mainly what I heard from the different panel. And everything is already booked. So, for us, it was too late for us just to any panel. Uh, I've heard a lot about, about cars, connected cars. And um, concerning music, uh, music re recommendation, of course, was uh, a, a very odd subject. Not much time to go to panels either, but basically I feel like connected devices have been like the big thing everyone's been talking about. And there are here some cool companies that are showcasing their new products. And this gives a good insight of where we could go uh, really quickly in those coming years. So yeah, at why we didn't uh, attend so many uh, panels, we're running uh, through the stands. Uh, but the panel we attended was more about music, uh, the future of listening, uh, and uh, we uh, since we are so the thing related to our business. Yeah, I should pretend I didn't have time to go to panels because my boss is here, but actually I did have time. And uh, there was like, yeah, very interesting ones about, uh, well, second screen, Bitcoin, obviously. Um, that data privacy is also a big subject, uh, yeah. Yes, I've been to a lot of panels and um, it was very interesting to listen to American people talking about marketing, which they know better since they invented it, uh, and also product management. So that's really interesting uh, to get these ideas and to bring them back in our own companies. But also, of course, we are talking about music and music education since I was talking about what we were doing. Looking at how, uh, like the, you know, here we're seeing uh, signs from all over the world, uh, Japan and uh, you know Germany, Argentina. There's so many countries here as well. So, uh, you know, did you find it was quite a U.S.-centric experience for you, or did you manage to have conversations with people from all over the world uh, uh, while you were here? Uh, well, uh, some of the country have, have uh, features like us, and uh, we talked to the guy from Japan, from Germany, and uh, right after the conversation, we have a meeting with the guy from Korea. So, uh, pretty interesting, more more international than just American, to my point of view. So, yes, the same uh, worldwide experience. We've met with a lot of international people. We we seen the international actually tech scene from startup from all over the world that do really cool projects too, and I look forward to seeing them grow and see where it's going. Uh, so uh, at way it, it, the community has always been at the standard of everything at White and uh, not very much into the stand of the panel but we've it's been a, an opportunity to meet our our community of music lovers uh, we, we made a playlist out of uh, with all the bands uh, in uh, in South by Southwest we, we give them to people on the streets uh, and uh, and even uh, people we met and they were very respected they loved the, the, the playlist uh, so uh, and there were people from all over the world uh, and uh, uh, so um, it was a uh, 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 a moment to build our our community and uh, to reach a world. Yeah. Um, even though, yeah, definitely there are companies from all over the world. I still feel that it's very much like U.S. centered, which is a good thing actually because we have many occasions like to meet different partners in Europe. And uh, at the end, like the reason why we go to the new world from uh, from the old world to the new world is really to meet new people. Actually, so yeah, that's great. Um, I didn't go on all of the, the booths of other countries, but uh, what I can say is that the visitors just right there who went by the stand, uh, by, by our booth, and uh, there was a lot of nationalities, even if uh, I saw a lot of Californian people, of course, from the Silicon Valley. And so I, I think another thing that's interesting, because there are so many companies, uh, it's also interesting to see whether there are competitors to what you're doing and finding out about services that might be in the same space. So in, in that, on, on that note, uh, has it helped you to see companies that work in a similar space and uh, find out what you are doing better or what you could be doing better as a company as well? Uh, yes, I think we're pretty the only company to do that. It's, <laughs> it's pretentious, but 
that's true. And uh, and that's better. T well, for us, it was fun to work with other companies. So mainly we work what others are, are looking for, and uh, we try to uh, to match. Um, no, I'm not sure. Um, direct to fan uh, has been uh, has had his momentum at uh, South by Southwest a few years ago, and um, we are glad to be here for to present our European uh, skills and activities. But uh, uh, now the market, the music market, is uh, any is uh, somewhere else. We've been happy to see that no one seems to be doing the same thing, but of course we know that can be coming quite quickly, but it's still good to meet other startups to see how they're working, to actually learn from them, learn from their mistakes too, and improve the way we process and the way we work at Bubbler. Um, so there, there, we have a lot of competition uh, with uh, like uh, Bob FM, Songdrop, Music Player, and uh, we are, we've been very lucky. It seems that we are the only one here, since maybe thanks to the French tech. Uh, and uh, so here we, we've been more focused on um, on building partners than seeing our competitors, and uh, we didn't look for new competitors. Uh, and uh, so, but we keep an eye on them and. Uh, if uh, we'd be happy to meet with them in, uh, if we had the occasion. Yeah, yeah no, actually, yeah, obviously a lot of competitors from uh, yeah, Covers, for example, um, like uh, like Spotify and Beats, which are uh, companies that are not available uh, out, um, yeah, um, in the in France. I mean, for Beats at least, and other company like Pandora, who, uh, which is not available in Europe. So, well, actually, it's a, one of the other things that is great to be here is that we don't have to use a VPN to pretend that we're in the US to test the service, so we can actually test the service. And then, yeah, there are many panels actually like uh, that are um, actually done by this company. So we get to, lo yeah, to learn a lot about them and it's great. As for Meludia, we were very, very lucky since uh, we didn't see any competitor in here. What we do is kind of disruptive, so competition is already limited all over the world. But here, we only had potential partners, so that was great. As I said, we met some, uh, some people from universities uh, and institutions in music education. Great. And I'd like to end by asking you about your experience with the, uh, you know, the French Tech Pavilion and, uh, and you know, the organization that was behind, uh, you know, getting all these uh, companies out here and helping out with the organizing meetings and all sorts of stuff. So what was your experience with that and has that really helped uh, your experience of South by and uh, in what way? Uh, well, this is the first time. I don't know how it's without the French club, uh, but however, they made some uh, some great st stuff regarding uh, the house, which is uh, outside of uh, of the wall, and uh, also uh, you know kind of uh, peer um, stuff. The um, someone is working for uh, for all of us, so which is uh, something great. When you're startup, you don't have a, a lot of money, and uh, it's it's basically it's uh, it's fun to be uh, with the others. Thanks to UB France for being there, but uh, uh, I'm not sure um, the, our presence at the trade show is uh, that useful. Uh, and beside the French Tech Lab, um, for me, according to me, is a huge uh, step ahead to uh, in the years to come to be able to create the event, the French event. Um, at Austin, so a big up to the, the organizer of the French Tech Lab. Yes, it's definitely a good step that we have a French present this year at South By. Uh, I think for us, what has been the most useful is actually the trade show because we've been able to meet with our future communities. And I think as they did a pretty great job by trying to organize it and trying to actually start something. And after, we'll be happy to see all the progress and improvement coming in the next years. So we are we we've seen there that the French tech has brought us a lot because we came early at South by Southwest. We came here the, on the fifth, and they were not there when we came. So for the two three first day, we were uh, alone with without French tech, and uh, and then they came. And so we saw the difference. We had a headquarters, uh, amazing food, uh, a Wi-Fi that was working. Uh, they give us uh, a network, uh, an opportunity to shine by 
by linking us to some uh, to, uh, to three to four journalists who will write about us uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, and uh, last thing, the funny thing, we are living now wide with uh, the people from uh, the French Tech. We wake up in the night after when we come back from our meetings and parties, and. Uh, by talking to them, we 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 we, uh, we we were aware that they work for months to uh, to do that event, and so we are very very thankful to them. Yeah, since it has been it's the fir uh, third time actually that I come, I can definitely compare with the previous years. And um, yeah, before the visibility of France was really close to zero. I mean, it was not exactly zero, but they used to have like a, a little like sad party. Uh, I don't know uh, yeah, when no one would come. So yeah, I can definitely tell the difference now. Uh, we have this, and then uh, yeah, people know about it. We get interviews. We get this panel actually. So yeah, we can show that France matters and not uh, only in France actually. I think everything has been said about La French Tech. As for Melodia, we are very happy to be part of the group of startups uh, and La French Tech is the representative of this group. So that's great. Uh, it means that we are stronger when we are more numerous. Thank you so much for your time and I'm going to add all the links to your companies of course to the uh, website so that people uh, that are watching this video can go and check them all out and uh, we're here at the French Tech Pavilion from South by Southwest. Uh, thank you very much and thanks for listening to the DMT coverage of South by Southwest. You can find out everything on digitalmusictrends.com.